Hello, everyone. A very good evening to one and all. Okay. I am a uh, dietitian uh, Aisha from AgriVision for you. And uh, I am your mentor for this course to crack the upcoming NSEP for 2024 exam. Okay. So in short, today I am explaining you about the nervous system, which is the topic from physiology. Okay. So we'll be discussing a, a little detail about it so that it will be easy for you all to, you know, revise the topics uh, for the upcoming exam, which is on 23rd June. So coming to this topic, nervous system, what exactly is nervous system? Or I can say, how does it, you know, even work? What exactly is its role? What are all the classifications and what are all the hormones that are involved in it to secrete and stuff? We'll be discussing about this in detail. Okay. We all know uh, the nervous system, the main thing, right? It controls the activities of the body. It is the center head, I can say. And it is, you know, very quick in action uh, than other control system in the body, which we usually consider is that endocrine system in the body. Even that, more faster than that, it does its work, right? And nervous system is the chief, uh, you know, controlling and coordinating system for you all. All right? Remember that it is the chief, controlling and coordinating system of our body. This nervous system, you know, it allows you uh, to sense, right? And to organize, to react and to store information and react according to the circumstances or according to the situation, right? So this, uh, how does it happen exactly? There is some control uh, cell or we can see or a control center. So basically that particular chief one is the neuron. We all know, right? It is the basic unit of the nervous uh, system. And there are certain, you know, uh, synapses from that forms like between the neurons that allows them to communicate to other neurons or other systems in the body. Like, uh, you know, we all know that uh, our nervous system it is divided into two parts. The first one is the central nervous system. And the other one is the peripheral nervous system. Right? The general flow of information is that the peripheral nervous uh, system takes an in information through the sensory neurons. Then it sends it to the central nervous system to be processed. Okay. After processing, this central nervous system, it tells the peripheral nervous system what exactly to do. Like uh, how will the muscles flex according to the situation, whatever the muscle is in. And whether the lungs need more oxygen, when limbs need more blood or not, or any number of biological processes in this peripheral nervous system makes it happen through the muscle control. Okay. And the neurons uh, that are responsible for taking information to the central nervous system, they are usually known as efferent neurons. We all know this basics, right? While the neurons that actually carry the responses from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system for the further action and, you know, reaction for us to respond is known as efferent neurons, right? And I have also told you uh, what are the functions of the nervous system in detail, like already what we have discussed in our classes, right? The three main functions, that is the sensory, the integration, and the motor one. So sensory, its main function is to collect the information. Integration, you know, to process of uh, the sensory signals, right? And integration also takes place in the gray matter of the brain and the spinal cord and it is usually performed by the interneurons. Then I have also told you about what exactly motor work does, right? Uh, the affector neurons, which, are, which is actually known as motor neurons, how it carries signals 
uh, from the gray matter to the central nervous system through the nerves and all, uh, from the peripheral nervous system to the effector cells, how it will be smooth, whether it is cardiac or skeletal muscle tissue or any kind of glandular tissue, all that things we have discussed. I have also explained in detail about uh, the human nervous system that is actually classified into the central and the peripheral, right? But this peripheral is again uh, divided into two types, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Then autonomic is again divided into sympathetic motor neuron and parasympathetic motor neuron. We have already discussed about all these things in detail and again we'll be discussing about it in, you know, uh, the crash course which is going to be start like about to start very soon. I have explained in detail about the difference between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic neurons through, a, through this picture and you know about all the functions and details again. This is our you know the main control center I can say the human brain right it is usually found in the cranial cavity we all know this it consists of cerebrum cerebellum and the medulla oblongata right and uh, it actually houses the nerve centers you know it is responsible for usually coordinating the sensory and the motor systems in the body so there are uh, many parts of not many parts actually there are certain uh, major three parts of the brain which is we all know core brain And then we have midbrain, we have hindbrain, right? Then we have discussed about all the lobes, how first of all the brain is divided into certain hemispheres and then each hemisphere has four sections, those lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and temporal lobe, right? All, uh, all these things we have discussed in detail. I have also explained in detail about the reflex action. We all know what exactly a reflex action is, right? Um, it is a way for the body to automatically or you can say rapidly respond to a stimulus to minimize any further damage to the body. Okay. I have to, uh, also explained how exactly um, you know, the signals pass on from the receptor and how actually a person gives response. I have told you what are all the organs that are involved and what is that major thing that is not involved, right? So all these things were discussed and will be discussed further. And I'll be also explaining you, you know, about uh, the neurons and all. And again, in detail, like all the important points that is actually very important, right? So more details of these lessons and all these uh, things and mechanisms, I must say, will be discussed in our live classes at AgriVision for you. Okay. If you too want to crack this exam and get in-depth knowledge, join us up in the crash course, upcoming crash course for NIN entrance test, which will be in 2024, most probably on 23rd June. Thank you.